welcome welcome if you're new here my name is andy happy mask monday everyone happy mask monday um i have already put my mask on because it stays on 15 to 20 minutes and i don't want to keep you guys that long um i am doing the collagen honey collagen hydro honey mask it is k beauty and uh, I it says enriched with honey and collagen this product makes the skin smooth moist and clear by providing moisture to the skin and improving the skin's own function of maintaining and circulating moisture I got this from Kim at Kimmy's boxes in my giveaway and I thought it sounded really nice so I decided to do that mask um, oh, it is it is early it is really early for me it is really early I usually, um, this is having, this is giving me fits, but it is what it is. I usually will film on Saturdays and then upload on, I'm sorry, I will usually film on Sundays and then upload on um, Sunday night and just schedule it for Monday morning so it goes live on, live on Monday morning. And I didn't do that yesterday because, I mean, we were having a really nice day together and uh, we did some yard work. I cleaned out the flower beds, much needed. Oh my goodness. Anthony mowed, um, and then he went around and took and got some the loppers and got some uh, overgrowth that was um, creeping its way into our yard and all of that. So yeah, and then we went and had these amazing tacos last night. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so good. Um, my taco had a cheese shell and it is a keto taco that they sell there and oh my gosh the cheese was so uh, strong so just so so like it had so much substance to it that when they put the hot beef in it it didn't melt like I make cheese shells at home all the time for our tacos but it always melts the cheese. Like this was evident. This was done on a flat top, first of all. So yeah, I don't know how they did it, but they were amazing. The flavor was amazing. The sauces were amazing. They just do onion and cilantro, and that's it. And it was amazing. Everything was amazing. So I'm gonna do some questions. These are just get to know you questions. Um, I got these from Miss Jessica Sparkles. Jessica Sparkles. I'm gonna link her in the description box. I'm gonna link link. Kimmy from Kimmy's boxes in the description box too since she gave me my mask but I'm also going to link Miss Jessica Sparkles down there I just love her she um I know I say that about everybody but I genuinely do she does a lot of coloring pages but she also does unboxings and mask Mondays she's one of the mask Monday ladies so yeah um I'm just going to do a few because I have I think I have 20 I don't think I'm going to do all of them uh, especially, you know, me, I have a story for whatever and, and it'll take forever. Yeah, because we're, we're at three minutes now, so we're we're good. Birthday. My birthday is April 27th, 1973. I'm a Taurus. Yes, I am. My favorite animal. Uh, my favorite animal is a dog. I just love dogs so much. Oh my gosh. I love dogs. Um, there is a TikTok that says... Dogs are the only th creature that loves you more than it loves itself. And I agree with that 100%. I love dogs. I like all dogs, but I prefer big dogs. But I love all dogs. What do you do for a living? I have an e-commerce business. I sell full-time on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, and very occasionally Amazon. So I go and source these products um, where, from wherever. Things that I think will sell for a very good profit. And then I clean them up if need be, but uh, if, if they're you know brand new. I sell, we sell pre-owned and new things, but pre-owned has to be in amazing condition. They can't be all, you know, you, you like really used. Uh, I take photos of them and I post them on 
one of the you know one or all of the platforms. That's what I do. Uh, if you could travel anywhere, I'm I'm I, my my answer to this is always St. Thomas. I had a really great experience in St. Thomas. I mean, I went with girlfriends, um, but it was just okay, guys. Sorry about that. I had to I had bacon. I had bacon, have bacon in the oven and the alarm on the, the, not the alarm, the timer on the oven keeps going off. What I do is, um, I put it on 400. I make bacon in the oven. Some people make it on the stove. Some people make it in the air fryer. I've made it in the air fryer before. I like it that way, but, uh, it makes a mess of my air fryer. So I try not to do that. Um, but I put it on a big pan that has a grate on it and I put that on there and um, I put it in a cold oven. I set it up to 400 degrees for 25 minutes and we get the thick cut bacon and that's why I do 25 instead of 20. I usually do 20 but thick cut, thick cut bacon. And then it's not usually done by then, so I usually let it sit in the oven for another like five, ten minutes. I really want to go to some place with a beach. What was your favorite subject in school? Oh, I did not like school very much. Um, I loved music and art. But if I had to pick like a... I mean, I know music and art are real subjects. I know they are. But if I had to pick a, you know, a STEM, a STEM subject... Um, science, technology, something in math. Uh, I really liked English a lot. Not the conjugating part, but like, like the literature part. Um, I also like science. I like science. Do you have a small or a big family? Uh, I, have, I have a very small family. Uh, it's my mom. And uh, my stepmom and Anthony and Bailey. My dad is gone. Uh, all my grandparents are gone. I do have uh, a couple of uncles. Actually, no. Yes, I do have a couple of uncles and their wives, but I lost an uncle and my dad uh, within six months of each other last year. So. No, I have a very small family, and I'm okay with that. What what genres of music do you like? All of them. I like all music. All music. Now, I'm not a huge fan of rap music past 1995, maybe. Um, yeah, after post 1995, not a fan of rap music. Uh, there are songs that I like. Um, I will, I can listen to Eminem, but, uh, for the most part, I, I love all anything from the forties clear up to now, um, eighties, nineties, you know, some country, old country. I don't like new country at all. That's another one. I don't like new country. It's pop music by country artists, and I don't like that. Don't mess with classics. I like old country. Uh, how do you spend your free time? Uh, watching YouTube, making videos, reading. I do. I read a lot. I actually haven't. I actually haven't read in like a week or so. But um, normally, my free time, I read. What's my favorite food? Pizza. We all know that. Favorite movie or TV show? I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really have a free... I have, like, a top three movies. And I can't... I don't love any of them more than the others. But Shawshank Redemption, The Green Mile, and Seven are all three of my favorite movies. Um, I do not have a... T I do not have a favorite TV show. I don't watch TV. So... I don't watch TV ever. I can't stand sitcoms. Um, 
and I can't stand, I can't stand that everything is so political nowadays. So, um, no, I just don't watch it. I just don't watch TV. But those are my three top favorite movies. Um, favorite childhood memory. Wow. That's really hard. Uh, I have many. I had a really good childhood. I really did. Uh, I had great parents. Even though they divorced when I was four, I had great parents. My mom and dad were great people. Well, my mom's still alive, but um, I did. I had a really, we didn't have a lot of money. Like my dad paid, my dad paid really good child support which is how my mom was able to buy me whatever. Um, and she did buy me whatever I wanted. She really did. Um, but I don't, I, I can't say that I have an actual favorite memory of my childhood. I had a good childhood. Um, do you speak more than one language? Uh, well, I speak English, obviously, and I am I am learning Spanish and I'm doing really, really well. Like um I was listening to a TikTok the other day that was in Spanish and I understood it. So that was pretty awesome. But speaking is a lot harder to do. And so I only speak one language now, but I am working on it. Who is your celebrity crush? I really don't have one. Um, I really don't have one. I mean, I did when I was younger, but like, I don't, like, I don't have crushes on actors or whatever. I mean, I guess if I had to say, I would say Tom Selleck, even though he's old enough to be my dad, really. I mean, I always loved him in Magnum and I think I've answered this before, but I'm not sure. Uh, I just, I just really, I like him. I like him a lot. He seems like a very cool dude and I'd like to have a beer with him. So I, I can't really say that I have a celebrity crush cause I really don't. Biggest pet peeve. Uh, I don't think we have that much time cause you know, I have a lot of pet peeves. This mask is very dry. It dried out. It like it started very gooey, but it dries out very, very fast. Like this is all dry. I'm going to keep it on though, because it's still clingy up here. Biggest pet peeve. Um, so I can't stand a liar. Someone that lies. I can't do that. Um, disloyalty. And then driving is a whole nother thing, because I, <laughs> whew, boy, do I know how to have road rage, uh, not road rage, you know, it's you're, you're talking to them when you're in their car and you're calling them an idiot or whatever. Um, you know, people, 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 okay. So people, people are my pet peeve that people, people are my pet peeve. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This makes you look like I have a beard. Uh, there are so many entitled, um, dishonest, people out there that I just can't even like I can't I can't even okay let's move on because that's negative favorite holiday Halloween love Halloween love 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 Halloween um I used to really really like Christmas but my when my dad passed away I I, I don't really care for Christmas that much right now uh, where did you grow up? I grew up in a medium-ish town in Ohio. It is about 56,000 um, 56,000 popular and the population is about 56,000. Yeah, it's very I don't know. It's okay. Uh, what is a skill you would like to learn? I would like to learn how to play guitar. Yes, I would like to learn how to play guitar. I don't want to put my face thing on here, so on the sheet mask thing, so I'm just going to hold it here. 
Um, no, I'm not. Yeah, I would love to learn how to play guitar. Um, I love music so much. I do. I love music. And to be able to pick up a guitar and just play it, that to me is something that I think that would be really awesome. Um, what do you value most in a friend? Uh, loyalty? Loyalty. I've had a lot of disloyal friends. Um, honesty. Honesty. Honesty and loyalty. But I'm going to say loyalty before honesty even. Because they kind of go hand in hand. If you're lying to me, then you're not loyal to me. Um, irrational fear. <laughs> I have so many. <laughs> uh, I am afraid of... I am afraid of puppets. I am afraid of dolls. I am afraid of clowns. Uh, I am afraid of heights. I am afraid of small spaces. I am afraid of holes. Holes. It's called triphobia or tripophobia. Don't Google it. It will give you nightmares forever. Holes. Yeah, like holes in, in things, like holes. Mm hmm Yeah. Irrational fear. Morning or night person? Definitely a night person. Definitely a night person. Okay, I'm going to take this off. It is time. Oh, there's still some serum on my face. Oh, my goodness. That felt really good. I like that. I am sorry that I am not more fun this morning. I am just really tired. Um, I don't think I got enough sleep last night. So thank you everyone for joining me for Mask Monday. Happy Mask Monday. Everyone have a great day and have a great week. And we'll see you later.